Hello, in my previous video, uh, we looked at embedding a slideshow in our Schoology um, for the purpose of sharing a Bitmoji classroom. Really, you could do this with any slides you wanted to share, um, and maybe they have live links in them um, that you want to update, so you want to do it that way. Uh, some people have mentioned in various places the issue with this bar at the bottom. Some, some of us find it unappealing visually. Um, there is maybe some concern that if you click on this, you can open the slideshow in the editor. If I have it set to view only, they can't actually change this, but they could, I guess, make a copy of it. And so for those reasons, maybe I want to get rid of that. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do. Um, I created a different slide here. This one's a bulletin board format and I got my little image that I created in canvas or yeah, uh, canva.com. Canvas is something else. And uh, I made this a bulletin board, and these will link out to Epic, Tumblebook Library, uh, Storyline Online, various links I want students to have access to at the top of my reading folder. So in my course, I do have a reading folder, which I've already opened. And I will show you how to do that. So in my slide presentation, I come to File. I go down to Publish to the Web. I want to highlight this. I'm going to come over here to Embed. And what I'm going to do is copy and paste this code from embed. It does set to auto advance slides every three seconds. If you have multiple slides, uh, this might not be the solution for you uh, because at least I don't know how to turn that off. Okay, so I copied that code. Now I'm coming over to my reading folder that I've already pre-opened. I'm going to add materials and I'm going to add a page. Now this is important for using the embed code. I'm just going to title this reading links. Okay, and oops, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to cancel that. That's one way to get to some of your slides is to go into your resources. But I'm using the embed code so that I can get rid of that bar. I want control of that. So what I did over here, I didn't highlight it like I said I would, is over here there's this little button. It has no words on it. This takes me out of the simple view and switches me to HTML. I'm not a computer programmer, um, but I'm going to paste this embed code in. And using as a basis this information I found online, I'll post this in the comments, uh, sharing present mode with no control bar. I used what I learned here to apply it to this new thing. So you don't do it exactly, but instead where the word edit is or where the word embed is, I'm gonna leave the word embed, but I'm gonna use this code RM equals minimal. And here's what I do. So I look through that thing I just pasted in and there's the word embed. If you were in a different view, it might say edit. This other stuff at the end has to do with the auto playing of the slides. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna leave that or take that out because it doesn't matter. I'm going to leave embed, and then I'm going to just use these words here, rm equals minimal. That is what takes away the, the border, or the advanced slide. rm equals minimal. All right, I'm gonna come down here, I'm gonna, instead of display on new page, I'm gonna click that. This is what I clicked, that ABC at the bottom, so that it displays in line. I'm gonna leave publish, clicked, I'm going to create. Now I made a video a minute ago of this and I made a typo and it didn't work, but this one worked. So here is my page. This comes up at the top of reading. Now I would have assignments under this, but I haven't actually imported the materials for the course. So this would just be at the top. I could play around with the size of this um, and that page setup in my slides, in my Google Slides. Uh, so I, can, I might want to make it smaller. It's pretty big, but actually gives me a lot of real estate to post things on my bulletin board. So another format for sharing things and no bar at the bottom with RM equals minimal. So again, I did that embedding the code. All right. I hope you enjoyed this. Hope it was helpful. I got my warning here that I'm almost out of time. Have a great day and just keep discovering things and sharing them with everybody.